Hello there, and this is the Stanley Parable. Let's get started. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go uh, to the meeting. Day off. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can I like open other doors? Okay. <laughs> Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Um. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> I can't open doors. Oh no, oh no 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to come into a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What, the next executive bathroom? Oh, that's awesome. To be rich is it a crime? To commit crimes is it ri isn't it rich? What a life would be to have to pick just one. Yeah, I guess. I want to use the bathroom, please. I'm just gonna listen to what he says and tells me to do the first time around because I don't. I, I think stepping I want to. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again yeah. stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to what input the correct code oh. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Do I go this way? I certainly hope not. I'm gonna guess it's going down the elevator. Wait. Oh. So, is there like saving points in this? Or. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. What if I want to leave? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> oh, yes, I lost the hand. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Holy what crap. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh my god, what am I doing? Am I gonna regret this? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Oh my. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. 
Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where am I? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? What the heck? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. System power. Oh. oh. Rep. That's it. Damn, am I done? <laughs> I think I am. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Pass it over. Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! <gasps> Freedom was made Am I moments out? away! I did it! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Whatever it's life really is, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way right now that things were meant to happen and Stanley was happy is that it? beat the game I did it! so I guess if you listen to him you beat the game but what happens if you don't listen to him? hmm That truly is the one question. Alright guys, uh, that's it for now. Uh, catch me uh, next time. Uh, I guess I'll... stream then another, another path. <laughs> See you guys.